is a demonstration of building a website with Webby. Webby has many of the advantages of Ruby on Rails, such as templates, partials and helpers. Webby is ideal for sites with static content that don't need a database. I've just installed the Webby gem, it's good to have red cloth and Hamel too for writing your content. So here we go. Webby has templates. You can make a blog, a slideshow presentation or a website. We're going to make a website. Webby gem, website, I'll call it demo. So it has created the files. I can now go into the directory and build the output for the initial site. And there it is, that's what you get to start with, a new website with a default layout. Let's have a look at the content that generates this website. Every page has some metadata including the title, homepage 1 for example. Auto build has updated the output file and homepage 1. Now let me show you the layout. We're using the default layout which nearly all of our pages are likely to use. Up at the top here we've got the title and it uses the metadata title set in the page. If we go down a bit we can also put a title in here into the body of the page. Again I'll use page.title. When we save Webby automatically notices the change and updates the output file. So there it is, home page one. Let's make a new page. Webby create page family. Again we set the title, my family, and content goes here. You can write your content in ERB, Textile, Markdown, Hamel or plain HTML, whatever suits you best. Let's put the auto build on again and it creates family.html for us. Let's go and have a look. There, my family and the content has been written in. Now we're going to want a picture. Everything we do should go into the content folder. We can create a new folder for images. I have a picture here that I'll copy in. Webby automatically notices the picture and copies it to the output folder. Let me show you. Output. Here you see the HTML pages that Webby has generated and sure enough there's the image. But as I say, we don't touch the output folder, we always work in the content folder. So let's put the image into this page. This is just textile notation for an image. By the way, I must say thank you to Jayan Tavera for the picture. I'll put a link into the notes. So save the text file, Webby updates the HTML file, refresh and we see the picture. Now this sidebar is a little uninspiring, we could really do with a site navigator. One of the really neat things about Webby is that you can insert Ruby code anywhere you like. So there's the page content and here's the sidebar, let's call that navigator and get rid of that lipsum. I'll just do a simple unordered list. Webby gives us access to all our pages through the instance variable called pages and we can do cool stuff like find all sorted by title and iterate through each one. So create a list item for each page and output the page title. Webby knows that it must update both our pages because the template has changed. And there you have a list of page titles. Clearly they should be links, so I'll just go and add that in. Webby gives us several useful methods on pages, including the URL to get to them. Again, both files change, and now we have linked up the site with the navigator. So there's a website in four and a half minutes. You know what, let's deploy it. Webby uses rsync for a really easy way to deploy sites. It's kind of like Capistrano, but uh, even easier, <laughs> certainly in terms of settings. Watch this. Three lines, that's all it takes. Now I've already set up the subdomain on my server, but I haven't got any files there yet. I'm going to use Webby to deploy them to demo.amy.mychores.co.uk.
No, I go there just first off just to prove I'm not cheating. Show you that there's nothing there. Whoops. Okay, paste. Okay, no website. Let's just save that site file. Stop the auto build. Two words, webby deploy. It checks that all the files are up to date, which they are. Oh yeah, I need my password. And there it goes, copying the output files to the server. Done. Fingers crossed. And it's live on the actual internet. And there's my family. OK, one more page so I can show you that the navigator updates itself. Webby create page. Oh really? You may think I'm tricking you, I'm really not. Webby is an amazing little tool for getting websites up and running very quickly. Obviously you can change the template and the CSS to your liking. It comes with Blueprint, C oh, sorry, Blueprint CSS framework, which is very cool, but you're welcome to do your own thing. There's the link webby.rubyforge.org. Let's just rebuild that site and deploy it again. There's my new page on the navigator. Thank you for watching. That's Webby.